Hello, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey, and you're on scene with the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. One of the many great things about being sheriff is that you are expected to do and say what needs to be said and done to protect your citizens and community. I want to start by saying that our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and families of the recent San Bernardino terrorist attack, as well as the law enforcement officers and other first responders that face the horrific carnage in their own community. Like each of you, I've had enough of terrorists and others deciding to target U.S. citizens because they want to make a statement or get their 15 minutes of fame. I personally believe that the fear of terrorism is much larger and encompassing than the terrorists themselves. I encourage our media partners across the country to stop giving these terrorists the benefit of having free advertisement by printing or broadcasting their propaganda or actions. These despicable individuals want to be paraded around and revered for their actions, so why would we ever give them anything they want? The purpose of this video message is to tell our citizens that if a terrorist attack or active shooter scenario can happen in California, Texas, South Carolina, or Paris, it can happen right here in our own backyard. In fact, active shooter scenarios have already occurred right here, dating as far back as 1987 with William Cruz, who killed six people in Palm Bay, and as recent as February of this year at the Melbourne Mall. Now more than ever before is the time for law enforcement and our citizens to be fully prepared to immediately respond to an attack or an active shooter scenario with the right tools to eliminate or at the very least disrupt the attack. It is a known fact that the best law enforcement agencies in the country have response times in minutes, yet violent criminals can take our lives in seconds. Law enforcement officers in San Bernardino arrived on scene approximately four minutes after the incident was first reported. Even with that incredible response time, they arrived too late to find too many dead or critically wounded. So let there be no mistake in what I'm about to say. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. If you're a person who is legally licensed to carry a firearm, now is the time more than ever to realize that you and you alone may very well be the first line of defense for you, your family, and others around you in a terrorist or active shooter-based scenario. I have always had absolute faith in our citizens to partner with us to help protect our community, and I want our citizens to always be alert and vigilant. However, let me be very clear in saying this is much deeper. This is about being able to defend and survive an attack by armed evil people until the cavalry can arrive. 